the first point I wanted to make about having clothes in your closet that are way too big or way too small is that it's actually there's an energy that clothes bring and there's a psychology behind it. And um, you can use clothes as a tool to empower yourself, but similarly, you can have clothes that disempower yourself. And there, I like to look at your wardrobe and your closet as self-care. It's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning. And if you're going in there and you're having these clothes that don't fit, then it's almost like they're taunting you. <laughs> and, and who here knows what I'm talking about? Who's had that thing where you're like, oh, you know, you're feeling like, oh, I'm feeling pretty skinny today. Let me go try on that, that uh, skirt that hasn't fit in a while. I'm sure it'll fit. And then it does it. And then that's how you start your day. And that's just not a great way to start the day. So typically I find that, uh, and I've been in this camp too, so there is no judgment, but there's usually clothes that are maybe like within five to 10 pounds ish will fit. And then they're the clothes that, I mean, it doesn't matter. You, you would have to be probably a different person <laughs> to get in them because they're so small. Um, and then they're just in there. And, the, and then what happens is if we don't get rid of them, then season after season, we take them out, we put them back in and, you know, they're taking up precious real estate in your closet. Um, and then, so you have the thin clothes, the thinner clothes. And then a lot of times you'll have what people call the fat clothes who here has fat clothes. Right. And, um, those are the clothes that, um, you know, just kind of basically a lot of people assume that they have it in their closet, but basically that's just saying to just give up, you know? Um, it's not going to happen for you. You know, you might as well just wear these clothes. And so when you're wearing clothes that are too small and they pinch you and you're self-conscious and you feel like everyone's looking at you and it's not, um, it's not comfortable physically. And if you're wearing clothes that are super big, then you're drowning on them. And so you feel invisible or your shape is not seen. And so, um, what I like to tell people is get those clothes out of the closet. Um, you know, these are the kind of clothes that they're shaming you, you know, and who needs that negativity? I think someone also in the group said, I don't want that negativity in my closet. I'm a hundred percent in favor of that because, you know, when you get up in the morning, it's how you start your day. And, um, there's a psychological benefit to feeling good. And when you wear clothes that fit and flatter your shape, then that is the best feeling in the world. So I recommend that you start out empowering yourself with what you put in your closet and having everything in your closet fit. And if that seems like a daunting task for you right now, here's what I recommend. As you're going through and you pull things out of the closet to get dressed in the morning and they don't fit, don't hang them back up. <laughs> and you can do it day by day, just one item at a time. You know, you could either put it in a donation uh, pile um, or you can um, try to resell it if it's something that's um, of a lot of value and then use that money to buy new clothes that fit you. So um, you want to take into consideration the psychological factor. Um, the second reason why you should get rid of this, these clothes in your closet is it's inefficient. So the average woman takes 20 minutes to get dressed in the morning. She's 20 minutes just staring at her closet. And if you're going through and you're going, oh, doesn't fit, oh, doesn't fit. Should I wear this? Oh, I can't wear this. It doesn't fit. Each one of those decisions where you're pulling items out is giving you, uh, is leading you into decision fatigue. And we want to use our minds not on these kind of little decisions about what to wear and trying to shuffle through things that don't work, but rather using um, our mental energy on those work matters and things that are really important at our jobs and what we do and not worrying about clothes that don't fit. So it's just a, an efficient, it's a time suck that you just don't need. And that's another reason for getting rid of these clothes. And really the third reason or the third thing that I hear a lot from um, women is that they're waiting to lose the weight to invest in themselves. Who here has had that thought? I mean, I know I've had those thoughts before and they're poisonous. And really what happens when you do that is you're putting yourself in style purgatory. It's really a form of punishment to not allow yourself to get clothes that fit your body now. And how many times have you said, oh, well, when I lose the weight, well, you know, a lot of times that can turn into years and years. And so are you supposed to suffer in the, in the interim and either squeeze yourself into clothes that don't fit or um, hide behind really baggy clothes? That doesn't feel great. So my recommendation is to get out of style purgatory, um, set yourself up for success and buy at a minimum, a capsule wardrobe that fits your current body. Now that you could look and feel good in, because that is what sets you up for success. It's such a relief when you get these dream stealers out of your closet that no longer fit. It's like you shed a whole person. It's so 
freeing. And I've seen this time and time with my clients, just getting rid of the clothes that don't work. And um, then you don't have the overflowing closet. You know, how many of us have that overflowing closet? Well, if you get rid of things that don't work, that don't fit you, then your closet gets much more manageable. It's more organized. You can set it up to look like your favorite boutique. And getting dressed in the morning can be something that you look forward to. And that's what my clients tell me. And it makes me so happy when you have closet that you love and clothes that you feel good in and you get compliments on. Then you can go out and shine in the world and do what you're meant to do here on this earth. So as I said earlier, I've done all of these things, which is why I know them so well. But I also have seen the power and the transformation that happens when you walk in and everything in your closet fits. It's, it's magical. Um, and if that's something that seems far off for you and something that you have no idea how to handle on your own, I can help. I've got a few spots for the summer, so I'll drop a link and you can sign, uh, sign up to talk to me. It's really just um, getting on my calendar. Um, we'll just talk about what you're struggling with and I can just tell you what I think the next step should be for, for empowering you for a wardrobe that lights you up because you deserve it and you don't need to have those mean girl clothes in your closet barking at you in the morning. So.